Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, this is going to be actually a very short video. We are going to learn how to set up your Plotly interactive visualization as your Pandas backend. So by default, let's first see when you make a plot using Pandas, it's going to use matplotlib as the default backend. So let's see, uh, let's try to make a small plot. So let's create a um, data frame from a dictionary and uh, let's call it a is equal to one, two, three, one, two, four. Okay, whatever. And b is equal to three, four, a, five. Okay. And now your data frame must be ready at this point. Okay. Okay, pd dot data frame. I missed the capital F. So your data frame is ready. And when you say df, your data frame is going to display. And when you say df dot plot, um, and you when you execute it, you're going to get a matplotlib based plot. So you you got a static plot, right? But the advantage of using Plotly is that you get interactive plot, and that is a reality with Plotly 4.8 new version, where you can use Plotly as the pandas plotting library backend. It is possible because of the new feature that they have released with Plotly Express. It in fact uses Plotly Express. Plotly Express is the lighter version of Plotly, which we have already discussed in another video, which I'll dis um, connect up in the description section. And uh, the latest feature of Plotly Express is that Plotly Express now supports wide data. So if you're not familiar with that, so usually long data looks like this. It's also called as tidy data and wide data looks like this where you have got a bunch of column names than all the uh, column names repeating as uh, individual rows. So now Plotly Express supports this because Plotly Express supports this. They could make it possible that now simply invoking the dot plot function, you can actually make a Plotly plot rather than having a matplotlib. So the way you have to do it is first you have to upgrade your Plotly. So uh, wherever you have your um, uh, Python uh, interpreter. So please uh, make sure that uh, you have the latest version of Plotly 4.8. So use hyphen u Plotly and it will install the latest version of Plotly. And then once you invoke pandas, let's import pandas as pd and then you say, okay, pd dot backend, sorry, pd dot options dot plotting backend is equal to plotly. So when you give this at this point, you have told plotly pandas that you want to use the backend of plotly and not matplotlib. So we'll keep this cell as it is and we'll just draw dot df dot plot. So df, as you can see, it's a simple data frame. And then you can see that it has made a plotly plot, which is interactive. So you can zoom you can zoom out, you can pan, you can do everything that you do with a simple plotly plot with a single function that is dot plot, which is very handy when you are actually working with uh, uh, pandas data frame directly and you want to do a, some sort of EDA or you want to just do a very basic exploration. So this is very handy and it doesn't take a lot of effort. Just you have to up uh, update your plotly and then uh, use um, um, Plotly as your backend. Let's say uh, sometimes you don't want to do this, right? So you don't want a heavy JavaScript uh, visualization always um, on your notebook um, because you might want to share it and you don't want to MB your files. If you want it to be back, you don't want Plotly and you want uh, the old matplotlib backend. You can say matplotlib as a backend and then you can run the same thing and you would get matplotlib. So it's it's as simple as that you use your main uh, function is main execute statement that you have to execute is pd dot options dot plotly dot backend and you decide what you want. And please make sure that you have got the latest version of plotly, which is plotly 4.8. It's already available on PyPy. So you can simply use pip install and read more about their uh, uh, announcement. What are all changes that they have brought? And you can see a few examples of how uh, you can use wide data and then make Plotly Express plots. And you can also see how what kind of plots that uh, uh, dot plot from uh, pandas can bring it for you. So this is, this is a very short video and uh, I wanted it to be short because I wanted to introduce this um, uh, new facility. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have any comments, please let me know in the comments section. And um, until that next video, I'll see you. See you. Bye bye.